Hey guys, this is Nick with Phone Arena and I'm here at IFA 2015. The Sony Xperia Z5 just got announced and one of its key selling points is the 23 megapixel camera on the back. A welcome upgrade over the 20 megapixel camera that we had on the Xperia Z3 Plus, the Xperia Z4, even on the Xperia Z2. So let's take a look at the camera interface and let me show you what this camera can do. It is really cool that the Xperia Z5 has retained the dedicated camera shutter key. It's a two-stage button. If you hold it down, it's going to launch the camera application straight away, even from the lock screen. Or you can simply use the camera app shortcut on your home screen to get to the camera application. Okay guys, so this is the new camera application and its new interface. It has been greatly simplified compared to the interfaces from previous Xperia's. And now your modes are listed, the most important modes are listed here at the left side. To switch between modes, you simply swipe up or down. For example, here we are in the superior auto mode, the default mode that you'll probably be using most often swipe up and you go to manual mode swipe down and you get to the video mode another swipe takes you to the camera applications which add effects to your images and videos and we'll take a look at them in a few moments one cool addition to the camera interface is the option to use the full resolution of the sensor even while using the superior auto mode in previous Xperia models you could only shoot up to 8 megapixels in superior auto mode but on the Z5 you can use the full 23 megapixel resolution of the sensor let's take a closer look at the options available in superior auto mode you get your self timer adjustments for the color temperature temperature and the uh, brightness levels. What else do we have down here? You have the smile shutter which takes photo uh, when a smile is detected. Touch capture can be turned on and off. You can have your grid lines enabled or disabled. You can set uh, what the volume key does when uh, it's pressed. And uh, yeah, all the settings that you would expect uh, out of a camera application. And this is the manual mode. Here you have a bit more control over the image. You can set the exposure in case uh, that uh, you think that's required. The white balance uh, can be set either automatically or depending on uh, what the kind of light source you're uh, working with. You should also be able to pick from a list of scenes such as uh, when you're shooting landscapes, if you want to shoot HDR images, all that stuff. But uh, it's not available, it's just an early version of this interface. These scenes are not available right now. This is the video camera interface. Let's see what kind of options we get here. Of course, we can adjust the resolution. And as you can see, the Xperia Z5 can shoot uh, full HD video at 60 frames per second. Now, you might be wondering where the 4K option is and uh, I'm gonna show you in just a second. You have to go to the camera applications and pick 4K video. It's a dedicated separate mode that you have to activate. Okay, let's see what other apps you get uh, for your Xperia Z5 camera. Augmented reality effect is uh, a gimmick that we've known of from previous Xperia. Basically, it adds uh, virtual objects to the real life image and uh, the mode is actually quite fun you're probably not gonna be using it often but it's cool if you want to play around a bit this is the style portrait mode which adds effects to your selfies for example you can have uh, black and white photos you can add virtual bubbles to your image you can add um, old-school movie effect uh, to your selfies and uh, all that cool stuff augmented reality mask is even crazier basically you pick an animal face or a human face and it's rendered on top of your Yours. This is the creative effect mode, which is basically a list of uh, effects that you can apply to your image. For example, this uh, filter here enhances the brightness and the contrast of the image. Uh, this one adds a really cool old school movie effect uh, to your photos. And uh, you get a whole bunch of these filters that you can uh, experiment with and have fun with. These aren't all the modes that come preloaded on the Z5, but uh, we don't really have to go through all of them. For example, you get Sweet Panorama, uh, which is uh, pretty self-explanatory. You know what uh, they do, you should know what that does. The time shift video takes uh, slow motion videos. Sound photo takes uh, sound along with your photos and face and picture mode allows you to take a photo using both cameras, the front and the main one, uh, to put uh, your face in the picture that you're taking. 
Unfortunately, the camera on the Z5 uh, seems to be still suffering from the overheating issues that we knew from the cameras on the Z3, even on the Z2. Uh, we've been getting uh, overheating uh, messages uh, for a few minutes now, and uh, we're afraid that the camera might shut down on us uh, uh, any moment because it's getting pretty hot, even to the touch. Okay guys, so this was the new camera application on the Sony Xperia Z5. For more details about this great smartphone, check out our website phonearena.com